A man's character is nothing but a reflection of his achievements. No words, no thoughts, no proclamations. Only action and the ability to make things happen. I ponder many nights of my existence. I put ink to paper and do the same thing over and over and over again. Read the paragraph, some of the main points, extract the data, remember it, and use it when necessary. If I am not working on how to produce results or actually producing them, then I am worthless. Scum of the earth. I spend many nights sleepless, unable to stop thinking. I would rather die than show weakness, and I would rather wither away in the darkness than accept failure. The only thing that matters is what I achieve. But sometimes, I get lost in my own head.
I'm not running anymore. I was never trying to hurt you. I'm your shadow and you can never run away from me, Carl. The process of individuation mostly has to do with bringing the vast distance between the conscious and the unconscious closer together, to integrate the personal unconscious into the conscious awareness. A beautiful quote by Judith Harris in her journal on Jungian psychology, The Quotable Young, depicts this notion. Conscious and unconscious do not make a whole when one of them is suppressed or injured by the other. If they must contend, let it at least be a fair fight with equal rights on both sides. Both are aspects of life. Consciousness should defend its reason and protect itself, and the chaotic life of the unconscious should be given the chance of having its way to, as much of it as we can stand. Thank you.